I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. I have a very special guest today. I'm Pam Honick, craft editor with Stackpole Books. Here today to talk with Donna about her book, Broomstick Lace Crochet. Broomstick Lace Crochet is done with a super large knitting needle and a crochet hook. Broomstick Lace Crochet is 128 pages with over 250 photos. It covers everything that you need to know to learn how to do broomstick lace crochet, which is absolutely has this very distinctive lace pattern that's absolutely lovely. We have very easy to understand instructions, starting off with basic crochet stitches, then proceeding on to 10 variations of broomstick lace. There are plenty of full color photos accompanying the directions. Okay, let's take a look at the projects you'll find in the book. The first one is our infinity scarf which is absolutely lovely. This is a great beginner project. Infinity scarves are very popular these days, but you can also wear the scarf as a long scarf too. Mm -hmm. Our next project is the pillow. An alternative to this would be to do it all in white and for it to be used as a ring bearer's pillow, and then it becomes an heirloom gift. The next one are boot cuffs, and these are so popular right now. The pattern for this uses buttons as ornamentation. You can even get a ribbon and lace them up. The next one is our tote bag. This, I love this for summer, and what I love best about this, Donna actually got those colors by dyeing the yarn with Kool-Aid. Speaking of little ones, here's the baby hat and sweater set. Well, this is just the cutest thing. I don't think there's really much else that I can say beyond that it's just the cutest thing. <laughs> And to complete the baby ensemble, we have booties. Oh, I love this. And, and for this one, I believe the broomstick lace is just, it's used as an edging. And next we have the evening bag, which is really elegant. I mean, it's really just amazing that you can create something that is gonna look wonderful, even in a formal setting with your little black dress. Okay, next, the smartphone or the cell phone case. Yeah, this is just a fun project. This is kind of a great starter project. Obviously, you can change up the colors in whatever way you want to. And next, we have the wrap skirt, which can also serve as a beach cover-up over your swimsuit. I really love the look of this uh, worn over leggings. It just, it really has a wonderful look to it, very fashionable and very easy to put together. And next, we have the convertible hairband or cowl. This is really fun because, I mean, it can be a hairband, but it's great ear warmer. It'll keep your ears warm during the colder months. And then all you need to do is just pull it down over your face, and all of a sudden, now you've got like a very warm, fashionable looking cowl. And next, we have our wrap. This is lovely. This is one of the variations of, of the broomstick lace stitch. They're very, for this one, they're very elongated, which really has a lovely lacy effect. And now the fingerless gloves. And I think this is what drew you originally to broomstick lace as an editor. Yeah, I absolutely love these. I just think they're so distinctive. They're so elegant, but at the same time, fun. Here's the hooded scarf. You know, when you need the warmth, you can pull the hood part up, but if weather has changed or you've gone indoors, you can pull that down and it kind of looks sort of like a nice bulky cowl all the way around. Next, the washcloths. These make wonderful gifts depending on what you want to do. I mean, just if you want to bring them as a house gift when you're going to visit someone for the weekend, you can roll one up, put a pretty ribbon around it and accompany it by a fragrant soap. And next we have our ballerina dress with the tutu. I love this project. I just think this is so much fun. If you have a little ballerina in your life or simply for dress up, it's just so much fun, so creative. It's very easy to do and it's just so wonderful. The next one is the blanket or the lap gan as they're called these days. It was your, one of your grandmothers who taught you how to do broomstick lace oh, crochet, she, right? She made me the most beautiful purple broomstick lace afghan when I was first born. Well, it's only appropriate that you included a project for a blanket in this collection. Next, we have the triangle kerchief scarf. I love this. This is just, it's a, a small accessory, but very lacy kind of twisty thing going on that is very distinctive and different. And next we have the slouchy hat. Now, Donna, this is another one where the broomstick lace is functioning sort of as an ornamental edging, right? Precisely. It's just on the edge for this pattern. 
And finally, we have our Valence Cafe curtain. And this is another one. This is another variation on the basic broomstick lace to sort of allow the light to come into the kitchen. I hope this video has helped you. And if you're interested in buying broomstick lace crochet, please go to Amazon or you can ask your local craft retailer or bookstore to order it for you. Mm -hmm.